Welcome to Tutorial Raise and in this video tutorial, I am going to cover e-commerce website using PHP and MySQL. So here is the documentation for PHP and MySQL, this one. So what you need to know before you do this project first you should have a good understanding of session and second very good understanding of insert update delete or CRUD and good understanding of database which I mean MySQL database you must have completed the project login registration and user management if you have not completed this project this one login registration then not a problem I will show you during this project. So, what does it cover? It covers first of all, you need to create few tables for this. The first table is admin underscore login, which the field name is username, where cap, and length 255 characters or maybe less password and then categories table so it will be cat id it will be primary key then parent id cat name cat description cat img and then product table so product will be primary key then product name product description one field i have missed here and that will be product price or simply you can write product price no it's already there so search for broad price and then cat id so these are the fields and and then there is customers table so these are the fields and then cart table and then orders table and orders details table and finally extra image for multiple image in the product now let's open php my admin and then localhost php my admin currently my zamp is not on that is why i am getting this error so let me open zamp my zamp is inside this and then htdocs sorry for htdocs zamp and inside this control panel we need to start apache as well as mysql okay so now it has started so let's go to here php my admin and create a database called e-commerce e commerce and then get here after that let's create one table the first table admin underscore login admin underscore login and then there will be how many fields 
1, 2, and primary key 3. So there will be 3 fields. The first field will be ID and then AI primary key. If you put primary key, that means it will not accept duplicate data as well as it is auto increment AI that means auto increment so we don't we won't have to enter ID it will automatically be increasing is the data will be entered so there will be user underscore name and then this one will be where care maybe 100 length or two maximum length of where care is 220 uh, 255 here will be password and its length will be also 255 or 100 so maximum length you can give 255 characters and finally click on save and our, our table this admin table is created now similarly you have to create other tables also The next table will be categories table. 